this is David from Cyborg Octopus, and I'm blowing it up on Capital Chaos TV. This is Todd Owens with Capital Chaos TV, and we're here tonight in Crockett, California, at Toots Tavern with uh, David from Cyborg Octopus. So, how you doing tonight, David? I'm doing awesome. There's uh, some noise going on in the background. It's a little hard to hear you, but so I'll talk loud. Hopefully, they're not going to keep talking. All right. So uh, maybe just talk a little bit about how long has the band been together? You're, you're the founding member of the band. Is it your band originally? Yeah. Um, so the band's uh, the band's been probably together seriously for probably about like two to three ish years um there was a lot of members in and out but uh the only people that are constant are me and our vocalist ian um so then you went out and uh decided to uh, i guess you recorded live in uh walnut creek i think it was uh, live versions of that so <clears throat> what made you want to record live versions of it or at least release live versions of that same stuff well, okay. Well, I mean, the honest truth is that we were just lacking content for a really long time. And part of it was just like, man, we really need to put something out there because it's been about like three years since we've put out anything since Primordial. So it's a combination of wanting to demonstrate kind of our live energy as well as giving content for the fans to kind of digest. Yeah, you were proud to put something out that wasn't perfection, right? Yeah. Well, I mean, the thing is, I feel like nowadays, with a lot of bands really emphasizing being perfect and editing the crap out of all of their instruments, the bit of humanity, or the bit of human kind of gets lost in that process. So we wanted to kind of show our edges, show our mistakes, and hope that, you know, our sincerity as people shows through. And I, and I, and I think it did. Okay, so that released, I guess, last year or something like that, and now... You got uh, a new stuff coming out, so I think May 20th, is that the official release date for the new one? May 20th. And uh, that will be Learning to Breathe, correct? Learning to Breathe. Right. Learning to Breathe. Now, so that's your, considering that your debut, so it's a full album. Yeah. Talk a little bit about the album, yeah. new album. Okay, absolutely. Um, and maybe talk a little about the writing process, is it you or is it a bunch of people? Yeah. Um, well, conceptually for the album, okay, so... I really look up... Okay, so here's my... I got to back up a little. I really enjoy bands like Between the Barrier to Me, you know, Native Construct, and, and a lot of other really staple prog bands out there. So each song on this record is intentionally very different. So we just released a single called Disco Brain, which is our interpretation of us doing funk. Another track, Divine Right in D Minor, is us doing neoclassical compositions slash, you know... Baroque type songs. Uh, Shark Pit is our take on power violence and punk hardcore. So each song, each song has kind of its own different identity, and I feel like. Well, I was going to say that traditionally, yeah. Here you go. So your earlier stuff when listening to Primordial. Um, there's a variety within the song, right? Like you go from different stuff to different yeah. stuff. So on this new album, is it more, each song is more focused, even though there's difference from song to song instead yeah. of having changes within the song? Yeah, yeah, that's a good way of putting it. I, I feel like um, before we were all over the place in terms of genre switching, but now each song stands as his own statement. So for example, like I said, Disco Brain's our funk song, Divine Right and D Minor is our classical song, Shark Pit is our punk slash power violence song etc so yeah I would say that it's a lot more focused and so I guess two weeks from the night you'll be in Walnut Creek for the official record release party right so yeah big show and uh, who else is any other bands that you know that you're playing with on that show or uh, what are the other bands okay um, well we're playing with our pals in Wolf King hi Wolf King um, we are also playing with Red Sky also our homies and our soon-to-be homies Wolf and Bear so going to be an awesome show check it out if you guys are local local people check it out that's two weeks from tonight uh, so may 20th may 20th yeah i like to ask people about uh maybe early influences or either your guitars so it could be guitars or just bands that maybe kind of influenced you and your 
younger days, not that you're very old, but yeah. <laughs> you still look pretty young. Yeah, well, Asians, we age relatively well. <laughs> but, um, so I, I don't really have any guitarists that I particularly look up to because I, I kind of see myself as like kind of more of a songwriter type thing. But uh, I really like to mix it up. So I, so my favorite band is probably Muse and uh, this band called 21 Pilots. Um, I'm actually a, genuinely a fan of Justin Bieber's music. I listen to a lot of pop music. Um, as far as metal goes, I would have to say I'm currently really digging Native Construct and my boys in a Wrath. And I'd probably say After the Burial. So I'm, I'm sure the rest of the guys have completely different influences, but that's just me. And you're talking about the album a little bit. So when you're when you're writing, is it primarily you doing the writing, or is it a collaborative effort with other good people? Yeah, yeah. Um, well, it started. Everything kind of started with me and my laptop. But over the years, it's kind of progressed to include the different influences of the different new band members. And um, I'm really excited with how our kind of creative juices are intermingling like I'm, I'm really happy with how things are turning out um, I see the description I think it's on either your band camp or on your Facebook it says uh, prog insanity so those are your words uh, those are actually our uh, vocalist Ian's words he's um, so you feel that best describes if you had to categorize the music well it, it's kind of funny because it's all over the place yeah yeah well it's kind of funny because uh similar to alternative music you know how they have the the catch-all phrase indie or alternative if it really doesn't fit yeah if it really doesn't fit in those those confines similarly prog is kind of metal's catch-all for weird bands um you know we have our homies in flub um who uh are also from sacramento natives you guys should check them out um they are considered prog too. They don't sound anything like us. They sound extremely experimental, but I mean, we're considered prog, so that's the best label we're gonna run with. So, sorry guys. With it, but prog insanity. Prog insanity. Yeah. Um, any other uh, upcoming shows beyond your regular release show, or any plans to tour in the near future or far future, or have you guys toured in the past, or any extensively? Um, yeah, well, I mean, we've uh, done a couple of Weekend Warriors in the past, but uh, so upcoming gigs. We're currently in the process of booking a couple uh, Weekend Warriors up and down the West Coast. Um, so, you know, Oregon, Washington, we'll see you, and as well as SoCal, which we've never been there before. And uh, we ha I believe we have a show coming up in Reno relatively soon. So that's pretty much about it. Book us. We're, we're looking for gigs. You're on the West Coast. Yeah, we're looking for gigs. Book us. Uh, people can find you on uh, all the normal social channels, I assume, Facebook and whatnot. And Except for Twitter. For some reason, we're just lazy as, as hell and we haven't gotten to the Twitter hype. But um, yeah, just uh, drop us a line at Facebook or Instagram or, I don't know, email or whatever, Telegram, fax, whatever people use by pigeon carrier. I don't know. Send the pigeons this way. Um, I guess uh, another thing... One question I would ask, maybe just about you're from the Bay Area, you're originally from the Bay Area? Or? Uh, I was actually born in Wisconsin, and then I, I moved to Oakland, but the band... When, how old were you when you moved to Oakland? Um, probably about like five. So you grew up here pretty much then? Kind of, yeah. I, I, yeah, I thought I was born. 14 now, right? So. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding, sorry. Um, how about uh, any gear you want to talk about? Could be guitars or anything else? Saxophone. The, the, the truth is, I know embarrassingly a little amount about what I'm rocking. I just know that I play a wooden guitar and I, you know, I play out of an amp. I use an Axe FX and apparently that's pretty good. And um, it costs a lot of money and uh, I enjoy the sounds that it makes. It's a vehicle for you, right? To write? That's what you were saying earlier? Kind of. Kind of, yeah. It's just like, I don't know what it's doing. I just press buttons. I know that there's a volume knob. I know something makes the... Guitars sound a little fuzzy. That's probably about the best I got. All right, well, that's all I have for you tonight. Anything else you want to add for uh, Capital Cast TV people? Yeah, sorry I wasn't a good interviewer. I don't know. I, I just nah, it was good. Interviews. Have, have there been really awkward interviews before? There's been awkward interviews. This wasn't awkward. 
What, what's the most awkward interview you've ever had? Um, usually it's because maybe I've had too many uh, chemicals before the interview or something like that. Or I've gotten a lot of, uh, <coughs> I used to ask people their favorite burger or what do they like, and a lot of people are vegetarian, so. Oh, okay. You are number 666. Six, six.